Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Right now, it's we're approaching New Year's. New Year, new you. We know you got to take care of yourself, and this is the first way to do it. That's Beard trimmer. Good. Look, and then you got nose hair because I, I got it. When you get older, it shows up. So take <laughs> care of that. Guys, don't forget, they also have shampoo, body wash, stuff smells great. Thank you so much to Manscaped. Click those links down below, and I hope you guys enjoy the review. Welcome, I am Lord Commissar Angry Joe, <laughs> and we just saw Rebel Moon Warhammer 40,000 Ripper, I mean, uh, Child of Fire Part 1 of, I don't know, 7? I have no idea. I hope it's sense. not 7. Okay, well, uh, this thing premiered finally, Zack Snyder's highly anticipated Star Wars, well, it was meant to be a Star Wars film until Disney said no. And uh, Netflix said yes, and to get their own space opera. So uh, Zach did a bit of uh, mixing things around and making his own original universe. And he says he wants to blow this thing out and, and create RPGs and games and all sorts of stuff in his new original universe, uh, which is completely uh derivative of basically everything as you can see here the warhammer fan in me really appreciated some some elements of of this film but uh yeah others let's talk about them so um i'm most <coughs> excited to hear from alex so let's start with alex and i can't wear this, this head the whole time that hurts my head yeah um i i don't think Zack snyder's a very good writer of uh anything uh i think he has a really great eye for some things particularly like um action and so some of the action scenes were okay mm -hmm. a lot of them here weren't i don't think this is his best work i don't think that this is good work i think <laughs> that he took the greatest hits from dune from star wars from 40k from a bunch of sci-fi franchises and fantasy franchises mm -hmm. and slammed them together and it feels like cobbled together nonsense it's like he wanted to send us a, a, his love letter um, you know, to Star Wars, but instead we got an unsolicited dick pic. Um, oh, and it's just, it's not at all what I wanted. Um, I, it's, I don't know what the fuck this was. I don't, I, I'm seeing that some people are loving it. I imagine the people that are loving it, um, like the extent of their reading comes it. from like oh, side okay. of a monster well, energy drink uh, can. Looking on um, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes, 22%. Even lower than Aquaman 2. However, the audience score, 72%. So yeah. we as wrong? as high as high as Aquaman 2's audience score. Yeah. It says they here, an action it. film with the touch of a poet. No, uh, absolutely not. It's Star Wars for grown-ups. Also, no. 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 Um, I don't know where these people are coming from. And look, I, you know, I, I usually am like, you shouldn't really yuck people's yums. But if this is something that you like, I would invite you to check out things like Dune and things like uh, Andor Wars. and Star Wars itself. And Warhammer 40,000. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's tons of great stuff out there uh, that is just better, that's not filled with unnecessary slow-mo. Uh, not everyone is a literal space Nazi with a simple Jack haircut. Um, they don't go from scene to scene to scene, and like they have no character development whatsoever, no. other than the myth. Like they introduce a character None, later on, yeah. they, they'll be like, "Hey, this is the genius General Titus. He did all these other things." Everything here is tell instead of show, and it's just it's bad directing, it's bad writing. I think it's bad cinematography, and that's something normally he does, oh. right? How many slow mo fuck? scenes do we get in this movie? Did you just say bad cinematography with Zack Snyder? Yeah, it's awful. Like some of the combat scenes, there was combat scenes this where someone got shot in the face, like through the back of the head. We were noticing that he was slowing it down during all the parts in between where you should slow it down. You should slow it down here. He slows it down here. Yeah. And then he speeds it up. And it was very bloodless. Uh, we noticed a guy, you were about to say it, get be shot under the chin and in the head. And then when they show the guy again, his chin is fine, his head is fine, it's not exploded or anything. 
I guess this is because Netflix imposed upon him a PG-13. Well, and there's I, an R version floating around I, yes. that we've heard of and that it's longer. And that's, that's the real version that he wanted to release. That's partially correct. Does but, he always have this fucking excuse that this isn't the version that I, if something comes out and it comes out a failure, this thing came out at 9% Rotten Tomatoes yeah. and people were like, oh my God. This is it's because, risen to 22% and then he's like, well, I, I, I got a recut version. I'll recut it. Yeah, this is because he's a fucking moron that doesn't <laughs> fit the brief. You you are given a hundred million dollars by Netflix, and they say you have to make a PG thirteen movie. And you know what he did? One hundred and sixty six million. One hundred and sixty six. He made a rated R movie that he has to edit down to make look bad, so that later on he can be like, "It's not my fault. It is your fucking it is fault." Your that's fault. the what I'm pointing out. The, this is a constant blame game. It's like, well, I could have had it better. But that, that's that's his mo. He did the same thing with Justice, Justice League. League. He did the same thing with Batman v Superman. And it's just like they say you have to make a movie within these parameters, and everyone else in Hollywood does it. But you know, honestly. Honestly, it's people like this, Star Wars for grown-ups, that just give him license where they'll, you know, keyboard warriors are already saying Alex is a shithead. He doesn't even know what he's talking about in the comments. Well, you also have a grown fan base of Alex is, uh, like, the only reason why I watch the reviews. Stop interrupting yeah. him. And uh, we all, we interrupt each other. It's just how it goes here. Yeah. Uh, but I, I totally agree with Alex. I think he's a very, very good critic. And... A lot of people come into these things wanting to turn their brain off and wanting entertainment and just sitting there and, and getting entertainment. That, that's not what we do here. We, we also do that. We can be entertained. Uh, but when you compare this media to other pieces of media, you see the flaws in it. And as a critic, you, yeah. those, those flaws really get pointed out and you bring them to people's attention. And Rebel Moon is an extremely flawed piece of media. Uh, but not according to your review that you were going to read. It's a five star. Ah, uh, yes. This is a this five is a star five masterpiece. Star. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebel Moon is a masterpiece of sci fi cinema that deserves to be seen on the big screen. Mm -hmm. It's a film that will appear, appeal to fans mm -hmm. of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Yes. Uh, but also anyone who loves a good story. I don't know what story <laughs> they were talking about. Hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. I'll talk about that in a minute okay. because Seven Samurai is a good story. Okay, yeah, you're using but, Seven Samurai as a crutch. Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, but, uh, they did yeah, it but the story they here did it no. worse. Uh, great cast, stunning spectacle. It is a film that will make you laugh, cry, cheer, and awe. It is a film that will stay with you long after the credits roll. Cry, maybe. I guess it is a film crying. that you will want to watch again <laughs> and again. This film deserves a 10 out of 10 rating. Wow. Uh, by Zack Snyder's mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, mm, Joe, My you're boys. next. What did you think of Rebel Moon? <clears throat> Are you going to piss Let's off our Snyder stance? Um, I think this would have had potential with the, like some good world building. Some visuals are nice. But that, that's it. So good world building, some good world building, it was, and like, some well, nice visuals. Mm, world I borrowing. Want, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's was, perfect. It is. It we is. noticed every single element we were pointing it out, though. That's from that film. That's from that film. That that, And now you're doing pod racing, and now you're doing uh, Anakin is a slave, and now you're doing uh, the Indian uh, ritual, yeah. breaking yeah. in a horse. Now you're doing Wild West. Now yeah, you're doing Seven um, Samurai. Now you're doing Star Wars. Now you're doing Warhammer 40,000. Besides that, um, none of it feels original no. at all. I will say one part I really liked. I liked uh, Anthony Hopkins as the robot. That has potential. This little robot thing, I liked that. And I, I did like some – well, no, Joe, this is your turn. I apologize. Yeah, like, I, like man again, I liked comment. some of the visuals. It had some potential. But other than that, I do not care about the story. This shit is like fucking paper thin. I don't care about the team. Uh, there's no chemistry between any of them. Everyone just like is fucking boring. It's like I want the bad guys to win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you naughty lover! No, you want like, the Imperium so to win because this is this clearly is so the Imperium. Stupid. The Emperor and, like, protects Joe. Maybe, maybe part two will make it better. Mm -hmm. But right now, I am not invested in this. And, like, so many generic-ass tropes. I'm like, oh, my God. It's like, oh, you don't have no money. Republic credit's no good here, but I'm a gambling man. It's like, <laughs> I know what the fuck Let me just gamble happen. away my 300000 for no reason. So you can break in something. So can go. I, uh, okay. We'll I, get to I, all I, that I, in the spoilers. Um, I, am, I don't like this. I don't see why people are rating this so high. Like the one I just read. 
y'all have lost your love of film. I think if you no. have to, you cannot have fun with anything. I'm just reading. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, go- <sighs> what are you gonna say? Yeah, I think the the level of like you know oh just turn your brain off I, I would tried. I would shit We're my not, pants that's not and our forget jobs to I would <laughs> our jobs are not to turn our brains off yeah but like to, to to that level it's just like you lose body function it's just like you don't think about stuff you just sit there and go whoa Ooh, pretty visuals but even some of the visuals were weren't as good no, they're not very like good. The, all the the famous Zack Snyder slowdown scenes were pale comparisons to what he's done before they were parodies. especially. Blo- uh, yes. Bloodless Ma- made it far less effective, far less brutal, far less cool. All right. Well, uh, m- my turn. Mm-hmm. He loved it. I fucking loved it. Yeah. No, I'm just- <laughs> I loved all of the elements that reminded me of Warhammer 40,000. I was so jealous of the actor. Uh, what's his name that plays uh, the. Francis. Uh, his name, he's not Francis. He was Francis in Deadpool. Ed Screen, Ed Skeeran, Ed yeah, uh, uh, Atticus Noble, and the Admiral. I'm so jealous that that Rebel Moon got this guy. The aesthetics are so perfect for a Lord Commissar for the Imperium, and it's like, man, I wish Henry Cavill's Amazon would have nailed this guy and got him in the series in some way, because the. Mother world is clearly, you know, either the Empire from Star Wars, mixing Star Wars' Empire with the Imperium in Warhammer 40,000. And then when they cut into flashbacks, they even have gothic cathedrals. I'm like, you guys know, you know what you're doing. You, you ripping off Games Workshop. Hey, Games Workshop needs to look at their lawyers. You know, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I just loved seeing all that stuff. And I go, you know what? This could work. Warhammer 40,000 could work is what I'm thinking You're when I'm thinking watching. You're already thinking about the better movie? Yeah, I'm already <laughs> thinking about the better potential of yes. a universe that is actually well uh, re- well put together. The lore is far more interesting. What Zach has created here is completely derivative. Makes no sense. Don't really like his ship designs. I like the uh, uh, all the elements that he's picked out here from the things, things that, that I like, yeah. and that he's aping and mimicking and things like plagiarizing essentially, but putting a spin on it. Um, and and so there are cool aspects here, but they are so few and far between. I'm a huge fan of Seven Samurai, even Magnificent Seven, the original, the recent Magnificent Seven. I think we reviewed it was a little less good, mm-hmm. but still that story story is so solid. The story here it has good bones. It is the uh, a depressive force comes. Wants the food that these people can do. These people can't do it, so they need to get somebody to defend them. They defend the town from a greater force by getting together a a, a motley crew of outlaws and rebels, uh, each with their own skills and their own personalities, and then they fight back, and tragically, some die for their ideals and, and, and heroically beat up the oppressor. That's simple. So That story's so fucking simple. That story is amazing, but it is, he's copying these other things, and here it is done worse. Go watch Seven Samurai, though. It's an older film, black and white. Maybe a little slow for some. Go watch Magnificent Seven. In the, I think it's in the 60s or 60s or 70s, um, and that one's a lot faster. You'll enjoy it, and then you'll see the, oh, I see what they were trying to do here because each character has their own thing. Yeah. They're developed more than they're developed here. And when these characters start talking to each other and giving speeches at the end, it's like, who the fuck are you? We haven't even spent any time with you yet. We just recruited you, and then we skipped all of the good stuff of what we're supposed to be building the camaraderie, and now we're doing the epic speech at the end. It's like, shut up! I don't know what you're doing. Uh, So... I I don't know. This is like the Cliff Notes version of it, and it's disappointing to see... (sighs) I, I think people are like, you know, maybe they're like me and they love the visuals and then they're willing to excuse all of the story flaws. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what it is. Because again, like whenever we recruit the general, we spend like two minutes with him. He's like, hey, come on, let's go. They wash him. He's like, let's do it for revenge. Hey, okay. He does no general like things. One, no. We have one and- shot. 
Literally, what he contributes to the group is, ah, bu- 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 bu. that's it. But the thing so he is, rapid fires a gun. Yeah. Only the general knows the rapid fire setting, it I was, guess. It was cool getting, seeing He's him get He's a genius washed. tactician. Well, the thing, too, was like Maybe they're maybe. trying to find him. He's like, oh, he doesn't want to be found. They put like a head on a pike and don't mess with this guy. And we go visit this That's guy. That's why Zack Snyder recruited. is a master at subverting your expectations, Joe. It's an homage to uh, Star Wars. Oh. You just don't get it. I don't. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, this is going to be a cool scene. We're going to go visit this nope. guy. No, he just saw Best the I can do he's is just, yeah. Lady washing him. He's by the trash. He's like, oh, that's him. We found him. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. So eight cool things in the film for me do, do not make up the greater whole of what's going on. And I'll tell you uh, a great, let me see if there, um, there are any spoilers here. Um, no. So I'm going to tell you the eight things. We can expand on it in, in there. But the, the cool, eight cool things, good things about the film. Mm-hmm. Alien Vistas, just like you would do in a sprawling uh, Western. You know how the yeah. beautiful countryside, well, they do the beautiful Alien Vistas. Gothic Cathedral. Parasite creature, bolter fire on muzzle flashes. They got the fucking bolters perfect. And Henry Cavill and the and James Workshop, James Workshop <laughs> needs to look at, at these things and be like, okay, that that's pretty cool. We'll carry that over, except for we'll put blood in ours. Yeah, yeah. And when you shoot and, someone and in the head, people's there. heads should explode. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, the, the mercenary bridge. capture bots. Uh, Kai's uh, ship bridge uh, in the windows when you're when you're flying up, you're basically doing what you can't do in Starfield, and you get to see that, and the asteroids pass by. I thought that was cool. And then touching bird feathers as as it flies by makes no sense. We'll talk about it, but the Slow-mo. idea that of makes it. Sense. And then a neural link back to tank. So other than those eight things, it it, it just doesn't work. No. Now I will say it is very watchable. At no point was I like, I am so bored, I want to leave, I I just wanted to see what next thing he was going to copy and, you know, try to do a spin on. A good thing. And then, okay, <laughs> that last slow-mo action scene wasn't at Zack uh, Snyder's level, but maybe he's saving the real slow-mo action scene for later on. And then I'm at the climax and I'm like, Okay, that was actually worse than the one before. So where is that three hundred? Where is the? And it never comes. So a there's lot a lot of, it, of a it. lot of it was fucking pointless. loud and explosions. Because she's coming off the ship, she's putting on her robe. It's a slow mo just to put on the robe and walk yeah. away. I, was like, <laughs> I remember you, you saying. I was like, was that remember necessary? you laughing? I'm like, why are you laughing, Joe? Like, and it's like, yeah, he, he just does wants slow-mo to pad for, out the for coffee. Like, he puts what, a co- slow mo coffee. You need to watch this and fast forward. And I'm, yo, yes. Then like the milk pouring, pouring, oh, pouring, pouring the milk splashes pouring. up. <laughs> so that's what Zach would do if if you woke up, you would film you like that. But um, yeah. So the 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 characters have no depth. No. The uh, camaraderie does not work. There is no chemistry. The story has a lot of holes in it, and and a lot of things don't make sense. The action. There's some good action here and there, but mm. I'm a little surprised. This is Zack Snyder. This is what he's good at, yeah. and it's not at other levels that we've seen in the past. Yeah. And it feels like a hodgepodge, like a big old fucking pot of just everything thrown in, and it doesn't feel cohesive and 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 like a realized world. And it makes me upset because you know. There are plenty of realized space opera worlds, both published in books and 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 people that don't have the pull of Zack Snyder that will never get their shit made now because Netflix has dumped all this money into Zack Snyder's project because he's Zack, Zack Snyder, Snyder. Uh, and and he wants to do his own world, but. He's like, well, well, we'll build this out later. I want to make an RPG. Well, it's like, no, build it out now. Make it make sense now. Don't just put, like, the bones of things in and then later on I'll expand it later. upon yeah, it. Later, we'll, we'll fix it. it. We'll, we'll fix yeah, it. We'll fix it. And, and the yep. world that he's built here, frankly, is just not interesting. Mm-hmm. It's not interesting and it doesn't make sense and I don't like it. Yeah, best part is Admiral Noble. Trust me, I wanted another <laughs> space opera at the level of Star Wars, but I was seeing people like, man, you're going to be sleeping on this. It's going to be bigger than Star Wars. It's going to be better than Star Wars. Those people are em- embarrassed. 
in my opinion, they have been embarrassed. And it sucks. Okay. So let's go to a final verdicts. Go ahead. Uh, I think what we just watched was two hours and 15 minutes of unashamed plagiarism. It is uh, a guy that he wants us to watch this thing, and the issue is he he's borrowing from Star Wars. He's borrowing from Seven Samurai, The Magnificent Seven, Thirteen Assassins, all these other things that he's watched. But I don't think he understand, understood them. He just took the parts from them and smashed them together. And so when I'm watching his version of a better story, I'm going to compare it to the better yes. story. This doesn't deserve to be mentioned in the same sentence as Seven Samurai, as The Magnificent Seven, as some of... I mean, there's even been more recent ones. I guess 13 Assassins, I think, is the most recent one that, that I remember seeing. And it's... This isn't very good. And I love space operas. I've even read most of the Dune series. And, oh, it gets fucking bad. It gets wild. He wanted to be Frank Herbert, and he ended up Brian Herbert. And that's a big issue. And so I just... I'd, I'd say Brian Herbert has more, more talent. Yeah, in writing than he does. Yeah, and that's if you know how the Dune series goes. That's a that's a savage, yeah. savage thing to say. Yeah. Like I was mean, but you were, you were just meaner. meaner. You, you were just meaner. So be mad at him. Look, I like I like no. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> I didn't write this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Y'all like ripped into it first. Yeah. But, but, all right. Well, yeah. I I don't think that this is very good. I don't <clears throat> think this is very memorable. And watching this just makes me realize that. This guy is trying to borrow from things that, honestly, he's not talented enough to borrow from. Uh, and it's a shame. Um, so I don't think it's very good. Uh, you know, you want to waste four or five hours watching something. I would, I would say just don't watch it. He's eventually one of the... It's perfect for Netflix. Perfect. I would even say skip this one entirely because eventually he's going to put out the rated R version. Yes. So it's like, okay. I, I, think, yeah. I think you entirely skip right. this one because it, in no way is it worth watching twice. Yeah. And so do not watch this version. Wait till Bloodless. His... Uh, things seem cut. Uh, I guess he has said it's a little longer and it's extended cut. Makes this fucking version. He just, there's, there's more slow mo. It's actually the same thing. He just puts more slow mo seconds, so it, it, it drags everything. You need out. to watch it fast forward. That's yeah. What you need uh, to do. So I think that this is bad media. I don't think it's just simply below average. I think this is a three, and I think it yeah. is. Um, it's something that I don't think you should watch. Let's start with the central character, Cora. Is she Cora. interesting enough, Cora. Joe, to carry the no. series? She's not. And I was hoping. Okay, maybe one of our other teammates. I would like. Would be interesting but enough. And you'd be not. like, I like that guy. That's me. Yeah. She's like, the best of everyone them. Everyone needs one of those, like, oh, <clears throat> this is my guy. He's my vessel in this story. Yeah. But I have none of those people right now. I don't like any of them okay. besides the bad guy, Noble. And yeah. I wanted him to. I wanted him because he's a damn good Imperial <laughs> yes, officer. I was like, for all right, this guy. Imperium of Man. I'm behind this guy, 40K. even though it's. He's got bad. a femur staff and. He, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, he's up on the bridge getting sucked off by tentacle alien porn and doing weird. drugs. It's fucking weird. Guys knows how to party. Um, besides some of the cool stuff that um, I like the potential, but again, the writing is bad. Um, maybe old part two will raise the score, but I agree with Alex. Uh, so this was reading. written by uh, Zack Snyder. Kurt Johnstad and Shay Hatton. I'll look it up what they've done in the past. Yeah, this is a three. I agree. Like uh, the action scenes were kind of like fucking bare bones. Like I, it was boring. Um, I didn't like. I, I didn't like anything of from this. Like I don't understand how this person's like. You need to watch this again and again. It's like no, you don't. You don't even need to watch it once. People attach themselves to directors or writers, and it doesn't matter. They're just like they put on the blinders, and they're like, no, I'm a I'm a Snyder stand. Actually, I do think that part two is going to be much better than this. That's what I'm hoping it's for. Because be right the... now, it it I don't want to watch it. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. I think we'll get the the Home Alone thing where they're <laughs> setting up the the defenses and the traps, and they know that the fight is coming. And mm -hmm. I'm hopefully we get to skip all that other part, and we actually get to some of. Uh, so I'm hoping part two is better because we'll have to watch it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so some of the, those writers uh, worked with him on basically Zack Snyder guys. 300, Atomic Blonde, uh, the writer for 300, the writer for Atomic Blonde, and um, Army. Army of the Dead. Oh. Yeah. Do you think uh, this is worse than Army of the Dead? I don't know. Do you think? It, no. We have no, to finish because, part two. No, because I like all two. the Warhammer stuff in it. I like all the fake Warhammer stuff in it, so I like this better. 
p- on pure visuals. Because yeah. the story in the Army of Dead it's was dumb. shitty, and it's the visuals dumb. were shitty. Well, here, the, the, the visuals I'm are still... cool in parts, and the story's shitty. So I'm going to go with the 40K Lord Kama saw. I'm okay. still pissed off because what, what were the zombies? <laughs> the blue-eyed the zombies. zombies. You never... Were they robots? <laughs> we're not talking about that. The Joe robots? brings this up from time to time. In Zack Tell Snyder's me, Zach. Netflix zombie Tell film, me. <laughs> were they robots? Why do they exist? And how are they created? Now I want a part two, right, just anyways. to know. Uh, okay, so I, so you gave it a three. Yeah, and you gave it a three. Wh- three? There's. A- I don't think this is average. Like in my opinion, this is not average space opera. This would not even be below average space opera. And in comparison, and I don't think it's unfair because he is distinctly and purposefully borrowing from better media franchises, and that opens up direct comparison. Now, normally, comparison is the thief of joy. Mm-hmm. No, fuck you, Zack Snyder. You are borrowing from Star Wars and Dune and 40K and, and, and Kurosawa, and because you are, I'm going to compare you to the things that you're plagiarizing, and you are so much fucking worse. So you get a three. Would you watch this right now again? The, the 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 beginning on fast. Actually, I like that beginning, yeah. man. The opening is really strong. I like basically. I guess I like the first act, and, like and then that. it just kind of goes uh, like, I want to like the third act You're for the tr- big action was, scene, but it wasn't all okay, that yeah, impressive. It was like, to? wait, we're gonna do the action scene here at this location, and aww. it wasn't okay. So fuck, man. This is this is. I think I like it better than y'all just because of the fucking, yeah. in my head, I'm turning it into the potential of Games Workshop. Well, does saying. it bother you that he's stealing that? Yes, that <laughs> bo- does bother me. That's what you, the speech you just gave here, because I was, I was hovering around a four, you know, and mm-hmm. now I'm dropping to a three from, from that. The, I think it's below average. The, yes. the storytelling is not average because he already is doing a layup. He already took a story that is, the bones are there. It's written for you, and and you just need to develop the characters, make each of them interesting, have the camaraderie, have the playing back and forth between people. He didn't do any of that. It's like all the the, the companion characters are in the background. It's all Cora, 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 and she's not all that interesting or compelling or that great of an actress. And but all the visuals around her are so cool, so yes. it elevates yeah. her and it elevates all the stuff. The flashback scenes, the Gothic Cathedral, I liked all of that. Though Carrie Ewells is probably miscast as the king, but I want I I don't care. I love him so much. That man needs work. Put as, him in more as things. As you wish. As you wish. Uh, and so it's just. Um, Ooh, this feels weird because I think I like it better than Aquaman 2. Mm-hmm. And and it's because none of the battles or anything in Aquaman 2 mattered except for Jason Momoa and Patrick. Uh, and what's that guy's Patrick name? Wilson. Patrick, Patrick Wilson. Wilson. And I like that buddy. But that was like 20 minutes of the film, maybe 15 minutes. And the rest of it is like, blah. Here... I liked some of the visuals, and there is potential to get it right in the future. Yeah, like, this yeah. is a small little town that they want their fucking food, which makes no sense. The ship could have just gone to the larger port city and then got way more resources and food from that. W- whatever. Um, I think I'm going to go slightly below average. Okay. I'm going to give them great amount of curve here and go four out of ten. But... <laughs> That's still four out of ten. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you need to run out and go see this. I do think you should see it since it's on Netflix. It's easier to get to. And tell me what you think of it. Um, And we will now proceed to tear it to pieces and tell you exactly why it gets the four out of ten in our spoiler section, which is going to be a separate video. Uh, Just to remind people, for us... 7.5 7.5 is not average. It's not a 75 no. out of 100. 5, five is, is, is dead. So the average movie that comes out for us is 5. So him saying 4 just means it's not as good as the average. Because people get really upset. And it's like, no, our scale yeah. is 5 is average. And I'm so tired of being scared of our audience. Fuck all y'all who who think that you know we are not allowed to critique films. We're not allowed to do that. We just have to turn our brains off and have fun with it. And so that we can reaffirm your like for something and just make you feel better. Just because somebody has a different opinion than you doesn't mean that they're an idiot and they don't know how to critique things or they don't know how to review a film or whatnot. We get it. The audience score is high for Aquaman 2. 
The audience score is high for fucking Rebel uh, Moon, uh, but there is a reason why the critic score is lower. And you're right, sometimes the critics are absolutely wrong. Starship Troopers, the critics were absolutely wrong. They, Austin American Statesman, I'll never forgive them. They gave it like a one, a one star out of five, <gasps> and it's, I've never forgiven them. So I understand the hate <laughs> for the critics and stuff, right? But that, that, that's a really perfect example where it's like that <clears throat> is one of those kind of dumb action movies based on something else. And honestly, it's, it's very loosely based on the source material. Mm -hmm. And he got the brief. He understood how to make it understood fun and action. Assignment. And, and Zack Snyder did not understand the, excitement, right. the, the, the assignment. Yeah. I, perfect. So... Yeah. All right, we'll talk more about this thing because this gets juicy because it's it's almost like individual little movies sort of smashed together, individual little short stories. But then you expect like this big climax at the end where everybody contributes and yes. no, they they don't contribute. They're just kind of thrown in into the end and then we have a final battle on a platform with punches from a lady that doesn't look like it hurts and then it's over. And I'm like, damn, man, all this potential of the universe was never even realized or done. So maybe in the future. I don't fucking know. Uh, a lot of miscasts, a lot of old man makeup on young actors. Like, that, it's so awkward. The Regent looks so stupid. So there's some things that look so cool and there's some things that look so stupid. And I'm giving it, I think I give it that extra point because I really, really like the idea of the robots, but the, but the, they never really did anything with that. That's yeah, just hinted at over but here. But that's borrowed from That's Kurosawa. why I like the first act of this. Like the totally <clears throat> reluctant, like, warrior, because they they were like... Reluctant warrior, warriors that, yeah. That, I, I've mm -hmm. thrown down my sword. I will never fight again. It's like, he borrowed that from someone who's better than him. All right, so that is um, our review 334. Uh, let us know what you think. Have you seen it yet? Uh, put you your comments down below. Tell us how wrong we are. Yeah. Right. Tell us how right we are or uh, as well. <laughs> or that we disagree and that we can still be friends. Because <laughs> Do just, that yeah. and I respect you because even more. We can, we can still be friends and you like stuff I don't like and it's vice true. versa. Go it's watch true. Seven Sam. Okay, you know what? Seven Samurai, because it's so older, people really need a, a warning on it. So I'd say the okay. Magnificent Seven. Did you ever watch 13 Assassins? Uh, no, I, I feel like I have, but I, every time you mention it, I don't know what happens in it. Is it seven guys or is it 13 guys that do the seven assassins? Yeah, the, the that story the... is that the emperor, the shogun, is on his deathbed and he has. So I'm just going to give you the. the, okay. the not the just spoiler. In, in, in this movie. Oh, that movie is so good. You should watch it. But the, the, the shogun has a younger brother who is like. He's a sadist and he like tortures people and the shogun is dying and everyone's like if this guy takes over the, the entire countryside is going to be like miserable and so all of these old dudes that you know that they're like look for the good of the country we have to do what we have to to stop them and so it's exactly the same kind of thing <laughs> assemble the team take okay. out the evil guy and that's what you should be watching is that so all right anyways let's end this particular review and go into the spoiler section so thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you on the next angry joe show